What's going on boys? We just got a GoPro 9 yesterday. I know it's been a long three or four month hiatus from YouTube, but I am back and I'm gonna kind of do some different style videos this time. Um, I'm going backpacking today. So I'm gonna take you along with me on that adventure. We're going down to Evans Landing on Lake Ponderé, so it should be a good time. Uh, I'm pretty excited, got my backpacking stuff here. As you can see down there, got my whole pack ready to go. Got my rope for my food that I'm going to hang in a tree because we're going into bear country. So yeah, this GoPro shoots pretty good 4K camera uh, quality. It is a um, GoPro 9. I didn't get the 10 because it seemed a little excessive for my first GoPro purchase uh, to spend over $1,000 on everything because the accessories included, it's a lot of money. So yeah, let's get going, man. We're gonna go get some food and then hit the road. What's going on boys? So we just got here. We are at Evans Landing. Trailhead's right behind me, right over here. Gonna carry down my fishing pole with me today. Got my big pack, got everything ready, got my ropes. No gat today, no gun. I've decided after further research that I don't need to bring a gun uh, backpacking with me because it's just extra weight and bear spray suffices. So yeah, here's Trailhead. We're gonna hit, um, I think it's about two miles in, two miles out, so we're going to get cruising here, and I'll just kind of like update you on the trail, and uh, we'll have a fun little adventure, boys. I brought the drone out, too, so we're going to get some nice cinematic shots, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. So I just ran into a huge elk, literally one minute into the trail. <laughs> Scared the living hell out of me, because I wasn't expecting to see a large animal that quickly. And then it bolted into the woods, I can still hear it breaking branches. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Welcome to North Idaho, baby. So that's where we're headed down to. That's Lake Ponderé. Absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the deepest lakes in the entire country. Getting closer to the bottom. Look at that view. What a nice day. It's gonna be about 100 degrees today. Pretty warm, pretty warm, but you know, I'm pretty used to it, working outside, doing my painting gig, so should be good. Hopefully we're gonna catch some uh, bass today. And then, cause I have some dehydrated meals that I basically just add boiling water to, but I would like some fresh protein. So that's why I brought the fishing pole. Uh, my main goal out here right now is just going to be to get my camp set up once I get to the base of this peak, this hill, and then we will start fishing and gather some firewood. So we'll catch up with you in a little bit. Yeah, dude, Lake Ponderé is just so sick. It's such a massive lake. I don't even know if the video does it justice, but it is so big. So we finally made it down to the bottom. It's getting pretty close to where we're gonna set up camp. Looks like there's one other person here. Definitely got a sweat on. It's starting to heat up right around like eight or nine in the morning lately. It's been getting up to about 80 degrees already. So it's gonna be a hot day. I'm ready to get in this water down here and cool off a little bit. But first we're gonna get camp set up and then, yeah, cool off, get some fishing in and settle in. So we made it down to the lake. Found a nice little camp spot here, right behind me. We're gonna set up our tent right here. And then we have a nice little fishing spot right down here. And then that stretches all the way back that way. It's nice and remote though. There's quite a few people camping here, about four different people. So, but yeah, this is super nice. Look at this lake, man. Oh yeah. It's definitely hot though, and I'm ready to get camp set up, so I don't have to do it tonight, and then uh, cool off getting this water. This is a lot better than where I was camping last time at uh, Rock Maiden Trail, because um, it had a giant drop off, so you couldn't actually walk into the water, but this is like somewhat swimmable. So, and hopefully we're gonna catch a bass pretty soon here, so yeah, let's get this tent set up and get moving. So I'm gonna do a quick little 
pack rundown for you guys so you guys have an idea of what I brought with me for this short trip. So here we got toothbrush, insect repellent, just in case the mosquitoes get bad. We have a high lumen flashlight. Can't really see it because it's light out, but very bright. You can blind anybody with this <laughs> or just see where you're going at night. Got a flay knife in case I catch any fish. Got some tea bags in case I want some tea. Um, some extra propellers for the drone in here. And then we got a power bank. So this will charge um, a smartphone five times, I believe. Uh, so that's pretty handy to have in case you need that. Got a lure, extra lure. Um, got some soap in here. Um, just carry it in this little vial just in case I want to take a bath in the lake. Uh, we got a Life Straw water bottle. So this actually has a filter inside of it, if you can see there. And you can drink pretty much any water from anywhere without getting sick. So this filters your water automatically through this little device here. So you pretty much just... It's really hard to suck through, but it filters your water and makes sure you don't get sick in the woods. So next thing we got is a mini stove. So this is an MSR brand stove. You can see in here, this thing folds out. Very, very handy to have. Um, and it also runs off this fuel here, this propane, or uh, isobetane, sorry, uh, cartridge. So it just screws onto there and very handy to have for boiling water. Speaking of boiling water, I have a pot here that's a lightweight pot and it also has inside of it, if I can open it here, has a cup, a heat pad for the cup, and then also a lid for your cup here, and then a extra bowl. So very handy for space. I got that at REI. So yeah, very handy to have. Let's not get that all over. Next thing I got is a lighter. Nice little lighter. Got two lighters actually, just in case. One runs out. Got two boxes of Mike and Ike's. Give me some sugar, some fuel. Got our drone, drone remote. Uh, in here we have two dehydrated meals um, that I will not be pulling out, but they are in there, I assure you. Uh, one's a venison meal, and then the other one is uh, eggs for breakfast. It's like an egg skillet thing. Got a spork and a spoon. Multi-tool, very handy to have for eating. Got a cat hole uh, shovel for taking dumps. So you dig out your hole and take a crap. And we got some wilderness wipes, just in case I want to wipe my body down or my ass. I uh, also have TP here, just in case I need it. A little bit of TP. Uh, we have a silky saw, so that's for cutting uh, branches for firewood and whatever else I need to cut. Um, and then we have a Gerber axe here for cutting wood as well and possibly self-defense if needed. Drone batteries, uh, Leatherman, multi-tool, and a whistle and a compass. And then we've got a blow-up pillow here. So you just blow into it right there. And then insulated air pad from REI. You can see the brand Stratus. And then we've got a Passage 2 tent from REI. This is a two-person tent. I like a little more space than what a bivy offers. And then we've got our 30-degree rated sleeping bag. So yeah, that's what is in my pack. It's quite warm out here.
just pop it open. There's a little bit of Velcro there. And then you got your zipper up here. Boom, you're in your tent. I'm not gonna get in yet because it's obviously scorching hot, but I'm gonna get bedding set up and we'll catch you in a minute. It's all wrapped up with bedding. This is what it's gonna look like. That's how we sleep. Just got a nice little inflated pillow right there. Sleeping pad and sleeping bag. And that's how we are gonna sleep. Pretty sick, huh? Yeah, I would recommend getting higher quality stuff because it's really hard to sleep out in the woods sometimes. It's not very comfortable. Sometimes you have wild animals walking past you. Um, definitely recommend earplugs sometimes. So yeah, there's camp set up. I'm gonna get a little fire pit made and then we are going to start fishing. So yeah, feels great out here too. The sun is just magnificent, even though I'm sweating like crazy. So we got a few stones. Gonna just build ourselves a small fireplace. Out of the way of the tent. Go get some more stones. Can't really beat being out here, man. This is where I feel the most at peace. Just out in the woods, man, in nature. Feels good. Got some more stones here. Gonna bring them up. Grab them. He's a big guy. Yeah, buddy. We got a pretty large rock pile now. We're just gonna start forming our little fire pit so we don't have, you know, just, it just looks nice and it keeps the flames from jumping out. And, you know, it's like a designated area for your fire. So, yeah, just keep bringing the rocks over, keep bringing them over. Like we might have enough. <sighs> Boom, it's a pretty big pit. Got a couple more rocks, we'll just kind of slide in where they fit. Like that. And then just kind of build up a barrier closer to the tent. I think that's far enough away. Yeah, should be good. We'll make a nice little seat here next, and then we're gonna start getting some wood together. So I found a good rock for a seat. Only problem is I gotta carry about a quarter mile back that way. Uh, it's right here. It should be a decent seat. Just something for me to sit on, just so that like I don't break my back out. There's a bigger rock right here, but I, can, I cannot haul that <laughs> back all the way across there. So I gotta like walk through water and everything. So I'm just gonna grab this big rock and we'll meet you back at camp. Okay, got the rock back. That was a freaking journey. Getting some exercise out here today. So we're gonna just slide it over to where? You know what, I'm gonna flip it. Actually, no, that side's bigger. I'll go that side. So now we've got, after I do this, a semi-decent seat. I'll pull this pad up here. I always bring this pad so that I have something to sit on. So now I have somewhat of a chair. That's perfect. Perfect height for cooking. Perfect for fire making, fire watching, really anything. Enjoying the sun. I'm starting to get really hot, so I think I'm probably gonna take a dip. And we got a little bit of wood. Uh, only thing I, is I need a fire starter, but I have Looks like some dry fir branches there. So I'm gonna get some uh, get some cool down time and we're gonna go fishing, see if we can catch some lunch. So we're gonna go to the end of this log and see if it's deep enough to jump off of.
the water is warm. And that's crazy because normally Lake Ponderay is just freezing. Man, it feels so good to be out here, man. Just in the elements. I've been in my head a lot lately, guys. I'm not gonna lie. And I just need to spend more time doing what I enjoy because, you know, honestly, I have the finances to do it now. And I just subject myself to so much punishment through just overworking and not enjoying my life and worrying about other people. And I need to just stop doing that and start focusing on my own mental health. I feel a lot better lately, but I just had to take a break from YouTube and everything and just, you know, chill out, get my mind right, recalibrate, get my life back on track. Um, and everything's good now, I feel good, man. I'm out here by myself, enjoying my time by myself and just uh, having a good time out here. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch some lunch, maybe get a little smallmouth bass out of this big ass lake over here. I was trying my luck at fishing out on the log that I just jumped off of, but no dice. So I think I'm gonna go walk down the beach and just cast all along the shoreline. See if we can get ourselves some lunch. That would be very nice. Some fish, some protein. That's all I've got is dehydrated meals with me, just in case. But if I can live off fish, I would much prefer that. Whoa. <laughs> that was a hummingbird that just flew by. Been fishing for a little while, but I haven't really caught anything yet. But it's such a nice day. I mean, the water's crystal clear. The lake's just epic. Can't beat it out here, man. This is my favorite lake in the area, Lake Ponderay. Um, sometimes fishing's a little tough because um, it's so deep and so big that fishing off the shore isn't necessarily ideal sometimes, but you can catch smallmouth bass, no problem. I've caught them before out here. Oh, it's just such a nice day. Such a nice day. Enjoying them. So we haven't caught anything yet. It is 2 p.m. I think with this 100 degree weather, the fish tend to come out at night a little later when it's not so hot. I've had a few giant bass follow up my lure, but nothing so far. So right now I'm gonna use my jet boil it looks like when it's set up to uh, boil some water that I filtered from the lake and make some tea. Some tea. Yeah. So I tried fishing for most of the day. Didn't seem to catch anything, but you know, that's how it goes some days. I saw like some very large bass uh, right on that log because I was sitting on that log looking down. And in Ponderay, I mean, the water is like straight sea through, as you can tell. So, no fish today yet. Um, probably gonna eat dinner here shortly. I've got a venison country casserole that I'm gonna eat from Peak. Uh, it's like a freezer dried meal for backpacking. Um, but it's been a great day, man. I got a little sunburned, but other than that, man, I feel really good. Like super, super nice to just absorb some sun. You know, not that I haven't been, but just get out here, not have anything to do. That's what camping's all about and backpacking and being in the woods. It's just having no responsibilities and nothing to do so that you can just enjoy your time and not really think about responsibilities or what's going on in life or, you know, really anything for that matter. You kind of just go into a Zen mode, or at least I do when I'm in nature. And I'll tell you what, it feels really good to be out here and just absorbing the environment, so. Yeah, we'll update you here in a bit on what's going on and what we're doing. So in case you were wondering how I get water out here, because they're 
is I only brought this much water. This is a Life Straw water bottle filter. So this is their um, Life Straw Go is what it's called. And it has a, show you, has a big filter, oops, filter inside of it where it'll basically draw out any kind of crap that the lake has in it or the stream or a creek has in it. Um, normally I would never ever drink water out of a lake because it's it can have tons of tons of contaminants, bacteria, stuff you don't want in your body. You end up shitting your brains out in the woods for four days, you know. So I just basically, you know, just dip it in. It's really easy. You just go like this. Boom. Just make sure there's not any weird little things like there's a bird feather right there. So just boom. Jump it in. Drop it in. You want to go about 650 milliliters. That's about about there. So I'm going to get a little bit more. And yeah, that's as easy as it is. And then I just throw my filter back in, screw it on, which I'm trying to do with one hand. Stick it in, boom, and then you screw it on and you're ready to go. And that filter will filter out all bad things. Very convenient. Very, very, very convenient. So I kind of got a little excited and I was all the way out on the edge, but finally caught the first fish of the day. Nice little smallmouth bass. That right there is dinner. It's actually a pretty decent sized bass to be honest with you. So we're gonna flay this baby up and we got dinner, baby. Straight protein, son. So I got it filleted up. Not gonna lie, that fillet knife I bought was kind of booty, but we got to cut up. Got some nice fillets here. Looking pretty good. Got some good meat there. Um, yeah, like I said, a little sloppy because my fillet knife was as dull as a rock. I even used a piece of wood as a cutting board, but very, very dull knife. So zero out of 10, don't recommend that knife. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get a fire started um, and then we're gonna cook these fillets and uh, yeah, and eat some fish and then we'll eat also our venison country casserole. So this is kind of how we're gonna start the fire. I've just, I'm kind of cheating obviously, but I've got some torn up uh, cardboard from stuff I used today and then some dry fur uh, needles and hopefully once I throw some sticks on there, it's gonna go up real nice. So yeah, we're just gonna, what we're gonna do to get this started initially is I have some extremely dry stuff. The camera might be a little crooked, actually. Here, let's fix it. This GoPro mount that they gave me is not the best. The tripod. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is take some smaller branches and just kinda, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna start with some even smaller twigs just to get this bottom layer going. And then we'll start with a small fire and then go bigger and bigger if we can. So I'm gonna find my lighter, which is right here, and we're gonna try and get this puppy going. So we're gonna start with our cardboard. Get under there real good. As you can see, that those fur branches are already going up pretty good. So I'm gonna try and get that lit, get that lit. Get under here. It's already going up. So if you can see, our fire's going now. And we just need to add some smaller branches to it. Get some more on there. And just keep it going. Sorry if the camera's really shaky, guys. I'm not used to this GoPro thing. So there's our fire. Slowly, it might die out. I really hope not, though. So and then we're just gonna get some sticks on it. Get those sticks going. Hopefully those sticks go up pretty quick here. fire as you can see we got some heat so I'm gonna just burn this for a while and get some nice coals and then we will throw our fish on there and cook it and have a nice dinner man I'm so stoked about that fish it was like I always know because when it's so hot out 
they don't bite during the day because they're eating all the bugs on the top of the water. But once the night dies down and the bugs go away, all the fish come up. And uh, yeah, he just nailed my freaking lure and I was just so excited, man. <laughs> that was such a blessing. Cause I, dude, I just want protein right now. I'm so hungry. Oh, okay, I'll get back to you once those coals are going. Dude, I'm so stoked on that. What a great fish, man. It's pretty, it's somewhat small, but it's a smallmouth bass, so it was it was expected. But yeah, we got quite a bit of meat, man. I bet there's like 20 to 30 grams of protein there. Yeah, check it out. That's a pretty good amount of meat. It's not bad. Getting our fire raging. I'm sunburned, sustaining that. So this thing is literally like killing me. Whew, as you can tell. I don't know if you can see, but gosh, I got sunburned today. Totally worth it though, man. Caught it right off the edge of that that um, log there. So I'm probably gonna go back out there again. I don't really need more meat tonight, but just for fun, because this is when they start hitting. So we can see if we can catch a few more, man. I'm gonna get a little bit more fire so these coals get real nice and hot, or a little more uh, wood for these coals. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. So here's my improvised hot plate with some rocks. We will see if it works. It looks like it's already kind of cooking it. It's definitely hot enough. Um, this is kind of, I'm just winging it here, but my I don't want to put it in my pot because I'm going to use the pot to uh, cook my ready meal, my country casserole we got here. So yeah, but everything's coming together, man. It's a good camping trip. I'm enjoying myself. we got a beautiful view behind us. going to be sunsetting in about a couple hours. Doesn't get better than this, man. We're on God's country, baby. Out in God's country. Okay, so we're going for the, well, my fish slowly cooks over there. Going for the peak uh, venison country casserole for dinner. Also gonna have something similar for breakfast. So pretty much what you do is I've already got my boiling water here. As you can see, it's steaming. And this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. Take the seasoning or the refresher or whatever this is. Yeah, it keeps it fresh. Take that out and then you've got, you know, the freezer dried stuff. So I'm gonna get my sport and then pour my nice water in there while I slowly stir it so we'll make sure there's no buggies in my water just a little bit of moss or maybe that's a bug whatever extra protein huh so we'll slowly dump that in to our pouch that's eight ounces of water and then, oh, oh, anything hard to do with one hand isn't it take our spork and we will slowly submerge Everything in this pouch. So we'll get back to you once it's edible and ready for a nice taste test. Well, the fish is almost done cooking and I couldn't help myself. I got into this a little bit, but I'll tell you what, without spilling any on the ground so no bears come by. Come on. It is outstanding for a ready meal like this outstanding like dude i don't know if it's because i'm so hungry because i haven't eaten today oh so good venison country casserole let me tell you dude my taste buds are bouncing hmm fish is cooking still starting to brown around the edges a little bit we're gonna have to flip it in a sec, but yeah. What a nice dinner, man. I'm so stoked. <laughs> Today turned out so sick. So, a little bit of the bass is cooked. We're gonna do a quick bass taste test. I'm grab this little chunk right here. I think it's cut through anyway. Let's check it out. Yeah, that looks good. So this is pretty bony, so I'm just gonna have to be careful while I'm chewing it, but anyway. That's what I wanted, some white fish. Oh man. Mm, there was literally nothing like freshly caught fish straight out of the water onto the fire. Oh dude, that is what I've been waiting for all day long. Mm. So as I go, I'm just gonna keep picking it off as it cooks. So it looks like this big piece right here is cooked. So we've always we got some nice flaky fish. Again, I didn't feed bow in it. 
So you can have stuff like that in there, but as long as you're careful while you're eating it, it's no big deal. Grab a little bit more. Oh man. Mmm. Try not to drop this everywhere. It's gonna be little critters everywhere tonight. Man, it's still so hot today. It's been a scorcher, dude. Mmm. Man, if I could just do stuff like this regularly and make myself do things like this, my overall happiness would skyrocket and I'd be so much more content with life. I really need to start making a point to do that. And I kind of had the idea that if I can involve some kind of creativity, like filming inside of backpacking and camping, uh, I might do it more frequently and enjoy it more. So that is kind of my goal with this. So I'm throwing the rest on and then I'm gonna go back out and see what I can find uh, in this lake, see if I can catch another one. Obviously, since I'm hiking out to the end of that, using a GoPro is not realistic. So if I fall in, this doesn't have a waterproof case on it. So I'm out $700 because <coughs> I just spent that on this the other day. But yeah, so I'm going to go out to the end there and we're going to see if we can get another one, hopefully. So they are hitting now. There is another smallmouth. That was a nice size fish. Look at that sucker. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it though. I'm not really hungry anymore. But that is a decent fish. Look at that sucker. Oh yeah. I think since I'm not hungry, dude, we're just going to let this guy go. Look that is. Looks like a little bit of damage. Here's a hole. Anyway, we'll let this little guy go. Oh, bye bye, sir. Man, they are hitting now. This is starting to get fun. If I don't fall off the log, <laughs> trying to get back is like climbing on a jungle gym. <laughs> I wish I could record when they hit, but literally I don't have two free hands. I have to claw, claw, crawl with one hand and, you know, guide the fish in with the other one. It's getting pretty close to the end of the day. It's about seven, so I'm gonna brew up some tea. And then I'm gonna go take a nice little shower because I've been sweating all day long in the lake some soap with me for that exact reason and uh we're just gonna kind of chill out sit around our little fire till it burns out and probably get some rest and we will see you in the morning so thank you all for sticking with us this far we'll see you tomorrow morning have a good night so just woke up it's about 6 a.m gets quite hot this time of year this early this is my view Waking up. We're gonna make some breakfast. I definitely got sunburned yesterday. For sure. What a beautiful way to wake up, huh? So nice out here. For now. Until it is 95 degrees in about one hour. <laughs> Uh, that means I'm gonna have breakfast and I'm gonna get moving up the hill so that we can beat the heat today because I don't think my skin can handle much more sunlight. Got quite a nice tan though. Feeling good? Feeling light? Ready to go? So yeah, we're just gonna cook up some brekkie, get some fresh water and we will be on our way out of here. We got everything packed up. Look at these split. Time to sweat like a mother.